I've done most of the things. Waleed Shabbat and Kamal Salim, two self-proclaimed ex-terrorists, spoke at Wheeler Hall on Wednesday night in a lecture sponsored by Berkeley College Republicans. Fewer confessed Palestinian terrorists, PLO terrorists, you should be locked up in prison. That's what I get all the articles about me all the time. If he's a confessed terrorist, why is he not locked up in prison? Well, why is it that only the confessed terrorists who repented are supposed to be locked up in prison? <laughs> Shame on you. After the two men spoke, a couple dozen audience members lined up at the mics. When the audience got rowdy, police moved to stand near the people asking questions. Uh, Professor Doug Howard of Calvin, uh, Calvin College has done some investigating Any questions, sir. Found your name is actually Khodro Shemi. You've been working 16 years with the Christian Broadcasting Network of uh, Pat Roberts. Sir, can I ask a question, please? My question is this. My question is addressed to the organizers of the event, not to these two individuals who have absolutely no credibility whatsoever. <laughs> Did you not know that you were bringing two proven frauds to this day? Or, 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 or did you know that they were frauds but they didn't care because their Islamophobic message is in lockstep with American conservatism today? Audience members did not contain their feelings about the speakers when they came to the mic. But yet, conveniently, you leave out of your statements the fact that and this is from Beth Salam, who's an Israeli human rights organization. Sir, do you have a question? Yes, and I'm getting to my question, please. That since the second Intifada in September of 2000, 4,871... Sir, where's your question? Can you please ask me I'm asking why are they leaving... <laughs> Let me ask my question, please. Because I'm asking why are you ignoring the fact that 4,871 Palestinians have been killed while only 1,061 Israelis have... And I thought the Q&A afterwards was probably the best part in terms of allowing people to express what they wanted to talk about in disagreeing or critiquing the two speakers and having the two speakers defend themselves. Whether I believe it was wrong or right doesn't really matter. Just the fact that we were able to listen to both sides of the story was really educational, I thought. At some points, the part where they kept on asking them to like shove their question forward was a little not necessary in terms of I feel like a lot of questions do need to be prefaced with an explanation or some statistics of by the questioner but um, other than that I felt the fact that it got heated meant that people in Berkeley care enough about the issue to be passionate about it. Also if you agree to disagree with gays and lesbians then would you vote to allow them marriage and is your answer to the whole issue to hate as they hate? They know about how things are over there. Why don't they tell us what Americans should be doing and thinking about it? He did not answer the question, that question, even when asked. This has been Anna Hyatt for the Daily Californian. So my question as a